Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video here. And so I just have a couple of things I wanted to talk about. I reposted this, I believe it was yesterday or maybe even Sunday on my uh, X account. By the way, if you're on X, follow me at the Dan Freeman Show. I try to be pretty active on there. And uh, we, we can also chat more on there too, where YouTube doesn't have like a DM platform where X does. So I'd uh, look forward to uh, you guys following me. I'll definitely follow you back. We can we can talk. You can always throw out some uh, YouTube video ideas that you'd like me to talk about on X as well. So it's definitely a good platform. I'm also on Rumble. If you guys are on Rumble uh, at the Dan Freeman Show, you can find my videos there as well. Um, so basically, you have a new poll that shows Trudeau is in third place amongst women. Remember he, when he was Prince Charming and all the women were just like, oh my God, I love him so much. Not no more, not anymore. 21%, 20, they like Jugmeet Singh better. And of course, Pierre Polyev at 42%. I mean, it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse for him. You know, and people are, are, are wondering, you know, why do conservatives want Trudeau to drop out so bad? Well, it's more of a suggestion, like what are the liberals even thinking about having having Trudeau in power, right? We don't, or conservatives don't necessarily want Trudeau to, to leave, they just can't believe he's sticking around and destroying his party. He's not just going to lose. He's going to take the entire party down with him. Now, I'll be happy to see it because that's what deserves to happen. They deserve to lose. They deserve to lose very, very, very badly. You can even argue both sides to deserve to lose, but someone's got to win and the conservatives deserve to win way more. That's just, even if you're not a conservative, if you're like independent minded like me, that's really the only reasonable way you can look at it, right? And then also I have here... Pierre Polyev also talking about Stats Can Today reports home building is plummeting after Sean Fraser and Justin Trudeau spent billions more on local bureaucracies that block builders. Building permits are down, photo ops are up. Trudeau is not worth the cost. So let's go over this a little bit here. So overall in Canada, it's down 13.9%. But it gets even worse when you break it down by province, right? Because you look at the only provinces that are up are PEI and Nunavut right? A thousand percent, 95 percent. These are very small areas or places where no one wants to live. No one's flocking to none of it, okay? Like, so that that's irrelevant. And then you also have some smaller provinces like Newfoundland, they're, they're down 4.2 percent. Nova Scotia is down 12 percent. There's quite a few people that live there. New Brunswick, 24 percent, they're down. Quebec's down 13 percent. That's huge, considering all the immigration that's coming in. You're not, you're not keeping up with the infrastructure. Ontario, again, same issue, except an even bigger population, down 12%. Manitoba, down 1.8%. Saskatchewan, almost 25%. Alberta, 15%. British Columbia. Again, another hot spot for new Canadians to come in and live, down 23%. Smaller provinces where no one wants to live, like Yukon and Nunavut, or sorry, Northwest Territories, they're also down respectively 77% and 48%. But when you look at Ontario, Quebec, and BC, it's like, what's going on? And yeah, a lot of people say, well, it's provincial. That's on Doug Ford. They make it so hard to build federally. It's really hard to get things done. And the, the liberals aren't backing down. Why? Because they want to see this happen. This is not on this is not on accident. This is not incompetence. This is on purpose. Let's stop building the homes. Let's flood in the country with immigrate with immigrants. Let's you know destroy the housing market. Let's raise taxes all to get rid of the middle class. I'm telling you, they're doing it on purpose. There's nothing anyone can anyone can say at this point to change my mind on that. If you don't agree, just ask yourself something. Do you really think that these people are stupid? Because something's bad is going on, right? And it's either incompetence or it's evil. Do you really think they're stupid? I don't. I used to. I don't think they're stupid. I think they're doing all this on purpose. I know I've repeated that a lot, but more people need to understand this. Because not everyone gets it yet. It's very important that we understand that this is all being done on purpose. Okay, so... Again, I mean, just these, these numbers are crazy. I mean, Ontario... All these should be up. It should be the opposite. It should be up 12%. should be up 13%. should be up 23%. But everything, everything that Trudeau's touched has gone to absolute shit. And me and every other Canadian who feels like me, whether you're conservative, 
libertarian, populist, centrist, left-leaning, right-leaning, were all pissed off. The only people who aren't are these far-left Marxist communist wannabes who seem to think that this kind of stuff is good for a country, or maybe not. Maybe they're just evil too. I don't know. There are millions of them, so I'm sure not all of them are evil. Some of them are just stupid, but you'd have to be either one of those things at this point to continue to support the liberals or the NDPs. The NDPs are not, you know, you can't just say, well, it's the liberals in charge. The NDP party is keeping the liberals in charge. It's their fault too. So, you know, again, if, if you're voting for the liberals or the NDP, you got to ask yourself, is all this bad stuff happening because they're incompetent or evil? Once you really think about it, you will come to the conclusion that they're evil because there's no other logical way around this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, guys. Uh, what do you think about this this building? Do you think uh, the lack of building rather the amount of building permits. Do you think that Pierre Polia will actually change that? That is one of the promises he needs to keep, in my opinion, or else people will turn on him very quickly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I always enjoy reading those. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back shortly with another video.